Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best cable modems in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these cable modems, you can check out the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. At number 5, it's the Motorola Doxis 3.1. Cable modems might seem like unnecessary devices in the wireless world that we're living in since they don't deliver Wi-Fi connectivity and will require a router to do so. However, for achieving the best connection and the fastest possible speed from your internet provider, you should definitely invest in a cable modem that's developed by a trusted brand and is of the highest quality. One of the most notable modems that deliver plenty of versatility for most users and as a fail-safe choice is the Motorola Doxis 3.1. This device is of the latest generation as it features up to 32 SQCAM or Doxis 3.0 channels or OFDM Doxis 3.1 channels to give you an edge in internet speeds. On top of all that, it has plenty of features that will help you achieve link aggregation, low latency technologies, high build quality and it's one of the most popular modems on Amazon. Without further ado, let's take a closer look. Motorola's Zoom Line modems have a pretty different and interesting design than most of the cable modems in the market, in a good way too, as they're pretty attractive. The Doxis 3.1 also features a great design, constructed from an elliptical cylindrical plastic case with rounded corners, a matte grey body and a nice stand in a black glossy finish and cutouts on each side for excellent airflow. This device is designed to perform, as it does a great job of keeping the internal circuits cool since the inside of the device is full. This device is also pretty large, measuring 7 by 7.2 by 2.2 inches and weighs about 18 ounces in total, which is a lot for a modem, and you have to put it on a flat desk space. On the front face of the device you'll see 5 LED lights, each showing the status of the device for power, downstream, upstream, online and LAN. On the back side, you get a large number of ports, including 4 gigabit Ethernet ports, a coaxial RF connector and the power port, along with the reset button and the power switch. For performance, this device is equipped with a Broadcom chipset with two LAN transformers, 512 gigabytes of RAM and 128 megabytes of NAND storage. As I said earlier, it can handle up to 32 SC CAM downstream download channels and 8 upstream bonded channels along with 2 OFDM download and upload channels with the DOCSIS 3.1 technology. The Motorola DOCSIS 3.1 is compatible with a large number of cable providers and the compatibility will rise in short time, as most companies have stated that they'll adopt the DOCSIS 3.1 technology. The device reaches amazing speeds, and if your provider supports 1 gigabit per second speeds, you can easily get an average of about 950 megabits per second, which is top of the class. If you want an ultra-versatile cable modem that'll deliver performance, you can't go wrong with a Motorola DOCSIS 3.1. At number 4, it's the Netgear CM500. For those that require a modem but are on a budget and don't need super high internet speeds, the Netgear CM500 is a perfect choice. It's an affordable cable modem that performs just a tad weaker compared to high-end modems on the market and it's still cheaper than renting a modem from your provider while delivering better performance. So let's see what else this Netgear modem offers. Compared to the aforementioned Motorola modem, this one is more compact and more refined in terms of design and aesthetics, as it'll not catch your attention, but it'll complement any design. It measures 4.9 by 7.3 by 2.3 inches in total, with its sleek and slim profile that'll work excellently with any other tech on your desk. However, it's worth stating that this device is not very well ventilated, so it may suffer from overheating if there's not enough space around it for cooling. Either way, the shiny black glossy exterior is excellent and if you give it a little space around it, it'll be good to go. On the front panel, you'll spot five LED lights for the devices and network status and on the back there are just three ports, the power port, Ethernet port and the cable port to complete the package. While it may not have tons of features or ports, this will do just fine with your existing router, boosting its speeds. On top of all this, the device is extremely easy to set up as you don't need any kind of installation process, it's simply a plug and play device. Just connect it to the power and cable and connect it to your router or PC to gain access to the internet. 
Despite being a budget device, the performance of the Netgear CM500 was pretty good, as it performed excellently on heavy bandwidth usage tests. I tried large file downloads in four different devices, no stutter whatsoever. This modem provides 16x4 bonded channels dedicated to downstream and upstream data, and it works pretty well with connections up to 400 megabits per second. For budget-oriented buyers, this is the best modem you can buy. At number 3, it's the Aris Surfboard. Buying products in the middle of the price range most of the time is a pretty fail-safe option, as it's not overpriced like the high-end products and won't lack performance like the budget products. The best mid-range option on this list comes from the Motorola subsidiary. It's the Aris Surfboard. This device delivers plenty of value for its price, and if your provider already supports high internet speeds, it'll be a very worthy investment, as this can handle a lot. And on top of that, it's worth mentioning that it has about 4,000 reviews on Amazon. This modem features a pretty fresh and interesting design with an almost all-white plastic body, rocking rounded edges, and has tons of ventilation holes to prevent overheating. On the bottom, it has rubberized feet that provide stability, as it's designed to be set standing up. The modem is pretty compact, as it measures 5 by 2.1 by 5 inches in total and weighs about 22.4 ounces, and thanks to its ventilation holes, you can get creative with the placement. On the front panel of the device, you'll spot the brand logo and model number as well as four LED status lights for power, receive, send and online, all of which can blink or shine in different colours to indicate everything correctly. On the back of the device, you'll spot an Ethernet port, a coaxial cable port and a power port, and it's colourful on the back too, which makes it a pleasant and cute device. The Aris Surfboard is powerfully equipped in the hardware department, as it sports a 600MHz dual-thread processor from Broadcom that features 16x4 DOCSIS channel bonding. On top of that, it has a 1GB GDI SD RAM and a 64MB 3.0V SPI flash memory, making it very powerful. It's not a top-of-the-line device with DOCSIS 3.1 compatibility, however it supports DOCSIS 3.0, which is pretty much a standard these days, and supports a downstream speed of up to 600 megabits per second. It's compatible with a large number of cable providers and it performs excellently in practical tests, with heavy bandwidth usage and downloads, maintaining excellent speeds throughout. At number 2, it's the Motorola MB7220. The second best cable modem on this list comes again from Motorola, the MB7220. This device is a pretty capable one, and it's the perfect router for those that don't have needs for heavy bandwidth and speeds. It's very easy to set up and use, and it delivers amazing value for its price. On top of that, it's compatible with the major service providers, and at the same time certified by them, so it's a top-notch device. The Motorola MB7220 features a pretty similar design to the Motorola DOCSIS 3.1 modem that we talked about earlier in this list, with its black plastic body that has an elongated rounded look with plenty of ventilation holes on the sides. However, it's smaller than the former, measuring 4.9 by 2 by 6.1 inches in total, complete with the elongated oval base that supports the device excellently. On top of that, this device is available in white as well, so you can choose the version that most suits your desk design. On the front panel, you'll see five LED lights that show you the working status of the device, and on the back, you'll spot the connectivity ports, which are not as much as on the DOCSIS 3.1 model, as it includes only the power port, an Ethernet port, and the coax cable port. This cable modem is extremely easy to set up and it's easy to use as it's truly plug and play and, as I said earlier, you don't have to be concerned about its compatibility with your cable provider. It's equipped with an 8-channel bonding for maximum download speeds around 350 megabits per second and a 4-channel bonding for decent upload speeds of about 120 megabits per second. It also supports full band capture digital tuning to improve speeds and save energy at the same time. And at number one, it's the Netgear CM600. The best cable modem in the market comes with plenty of desirable qualities, including 24 downstream channels and 8 upstream channels with DOCSIS 3.0 bonding technology, and it delivers pretty high-speed internet, the Netgear CM600. Developed by Netgear, you don't have to worry about the quality and reliability of this device, as the company has always delivered top-notch products throughout the years, and their reliability and quality have been second to none. The Netgear CM600 comes in a tall body that measures 5.3 by 2.4 by 8.7 inches and weighs 15.9 ounces in total, so you can place it anywhere you like. 
It's shaped like a bevel and has ventilation holes around the body, which make it extremely attractive and cool the device at the same time. In its package, you'll spot the Ethernet cable, the power adapter and quick install guide that's not really necessary, since the installation process is very simple and fast. On the back panel of this modem, you'll spot the connectivity ports including one gigabit Ethernet port to connect it to your PC or a wireless router, the power input and a coax connection button. This modem is compatible with most of the internet cable providers in the country and it's also pretty compatible with most PC operating systems. And to configure the settings to your likings, you have to log into the web and type in the numbers provided in the quick install guide to gain access. For performance, it's equipped with 8MB NOR flash memory coupled with 128MB of RAM to deliver excellent speeds of up to 950 megabits per second if your provider allows it. So it would be wise to check that first. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.